What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my top 10 video games. What that means is I'm going to be telling you, the viewer, about my favorite video games. Whether it be because they're amazing, or they're just really nostalgic for me. I just want to get these out in the world. There are probably a few that none of you guys have played. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Uh, first off, we have a game that I've been playing a lot recently. This is Tears of the Kingdom. This game is amazing. It's just better Breath of the Wild, which i realizing now I did not play, but like, it's really good. I would highly recommend it, despite the fact that it's $70. But like, it's a really good game. You can build stuff, you can fuse things, the best you can ascend through things, which is just wild. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff, and it works with my amiibos, which is always a plus. Uh, but yeah, that's my 10th favorite video game of all time, which is kinda crazy, because I just got the game, like, two or three weeks ago. So second, or I guess ninth, uh, we would have F-Zero X. This, in my opinion, is the best racing game. The pinnacle of racing games that followed. Uh, it's for the Nintendo 64, I believe, and it is, if you don't know what F-Zero is, it's the game that Captain Falcon is from. If you don't know Captain Falcon, he's in Smash Bros. He does the Falcon Punch. Basically, it's faster Mario Kart. You can go like 2,000 miles per hour or something. Absurdity. You can destroy your car, you can explode, you can go flying off the track, and then just lose. It's just better Mario Kart in my opinion, and for those reasons, and the fact that I have a world record in it, it's in ninth place. Um, Pokemon Coliseum is the 8th game that is on my list, mainly because of nostalgia. It's a really good game, I would recommend it, I'm sure that nobody's really heard of this. Basically, Pokemon Coliseum isn't a mainline game, it was for the GameCube, meaning it's like a knockoff. It's not a knockoff, it's a spin-off game. It's Pokemon, but gritty. Not the dance. Like, Batman gritty. Don't you dare think of Batman doing the gritty. Okay, basically, it's... <sighs> Pokemon, but crime, so Pal World? Kind of? <laughs> but it's Pal World 20 years before Pal World existed. Which is, Pal World's been in the news a lot, that's the only reason I'm mentioning this. But anyway, the next game, aka my 7th favorite, is another Pokemon game, and that is Pokemon Legends Arceus. This was a game that I played on stream for all of you guys, I don't know if anyone actually watched it, but I actually had a lot of fun, it kind of... I think it's better than a lot of Pokemon games, and on my list it is the best, it is one of the best Pokemon games, just period. I think there's a lot to do, you end up getting Arceus at the end, I don't even think I've done that yet. But they've introduced so many cool forms, the ability to like throw Pokeballs outside of battle is amazing. Oh my god, do you know how many Pokemon games I've just quit because I hate catching Pokemon sometimes. It's so good. Uh, the only downside to the game would be like locking areas, but you get past that once you finish the game. And you get free legendaries, as in every other Pokemon game. So like, plus? Uh, but anyway, moving on from Pokemon games, we have another Legend of Zelda game! Ocarina of Time, one of the, pi the pinnacle of perfection in the eyes of most Legend of Zelda fans. Not me, but in most of the fans. It's just so well made, the plot is there. It's there! You save, you go back in time, you can be an adult, you can be a child, I'm explaining this horribly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's start over. Um, basically, in this game, you are a child and you don't have a fairy, which is bad, apparently. You're the, the, the guardian figure, or your father figure, dies. You try to save him, but it doesn't matter. So you have to go save the world, and you talk to a princess who tells you you need to save the world. And that's the plot. And it's so good. It, it's much better than my horrible explanation of it. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> but I actually had a lot of fun playing through this. I did not 
play it on my channel. I played it many years before, but I did have a lot of fun with this one. And that's why it's so high up on this list. Uh, number five is another game that I've played on stream and another one that I've played recently and I've actually started speedrunning, Mario Odyssey. I was not expecting to like this game as much as I do. All the cool texts and all the fun maneuvers that you can do, cat bounces, backflips, CRCs, that's a lot more difficult than the rest of them. It's actually a lot of fun, <laughs> and it's one of the only games that I've like gotten really into speedrunning, because I've really only speedrun like racing games and maybe one or two others. So the fact that it got me into that is kind of crazy, just in general. I think it's a really good game. For those of you who haven't played it, I'd highly recommend it. It's on the Switch. I'm sure it'll be on the Switch too, somehow. But yeah, that's another really good one. Fourth place goes to another game that I have speedrun. Mario Kart 64. <laughs> I was going to do the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe thing, but uh, I decided not to because this is not Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. The drifting in that game is a little weird. Uh, Mario Kart 64 is in my opinion the best Mario Kart game like sure I said earlier in this video that F-Zero X was m like the best racing game but Mario Kart 64 is my favorite racing game you know cuz like I had two world records in it no clue if I have either of them right now but like I had a lot of fun speedrunning in the any percent category for this one and in the just single level categories and I actually got really good at it which adds to the fact that I really like it. <laughs> it's a simple game, I'll be honest. It's probably the most simple game on this entire list. But it's really fun. And really, out of a video game, that's what you want. Speaking of fun video games that I've played on stream, despite the fact I haven't played Mario Kart 64 on stream, Pokemon Scarlet, another game that I have kind of played on stream. I beat Pokemon Scarlet early on, not like early on when it was released or early on in the year, just early on. That's it. That was just a stupid joke. Anyway, I had a lot of fun with it. Basically, that's all I need to say about the base game. DLC wise, it has the best DLC out of any game that I've ever played in my life. Like sure, Smash Bros has great DLC. Sure, Dragon Ball Fighter Z has great DLC. But Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, moi. Just they did a good job. I'm proud. Teal Mask was amazing, the story's pretty good. Um, you got some really strong Pokemon, and then the Indigo Disc was just a great way to follow it up. You can get, like, pretty much every Legendary, which is very useful for me, because I don't have anything to transfer Pokemon from the 3DS to the Switch right now. Uh, so that's a little sad. But, like, I'd say the DLC kind of knocks this game up to, like, one of my top spots. Third, if you will believe it. As for second, though, is the final Legend of Zelda game that's on this list. Majora's Mask. This is the best game. The best RPG game possible. It's just so well done. It's the sequel to Ocarina of Time, which I talked about earlier in this list and really enjoyed. Except you can put on a mask and become something else. Like, you can put on a mask and be a Goron. The big, like, rock eater. I don't know why I did that. Rock eating guys. You can become a Zora and swim around. Or a, a Deku scrub. And I don't know, be a Deku scrub if you want to. And then the plot is actually really cool and I like the character designs. The masks are really cool. I just overall really like this game. It might be the nostalgia of me playing this when I was nine, but like, it was peak. 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 Anyway. That probably was really loud for you, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, as for my number one game, it's gotta be... Super Smash Bros. Ultimate! Thank you, Masahiro Sakurai, for creating this game. It's beautiful. <laughs> I, have, I have almost a thousand hours in this game, 
I've spent it practicing, I've gone to tournaments, I've played hundreds of hours with my friends, I have all the DLC, I have almost everything unlocked. The game's almost done for me. But it's still so much fun. The idea that I can fight Mario against, I don't know, Min Min, some character that no one wanted. It's just amazing. And it, the best part of it is, it works with amiibos. And not only works, it's the home base for amiibos. Every amiibo that Nintendo has ever created is in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I collect them. They're behind the camera, but like, they're up there. And I have like 30 something of them. <laughs> I probably have a problem, but we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about how good Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is. You are given a character to start off, you fight a lot, and that's pretty much it. It's just a fighting game. And probably the best fighting game that's ever been existent. Existent? That's not a word. Doesn't matter. It's still a really good game. I would suggest that you guys play all of these games. And you know what else I would suggest? That you hit that like and subscribe button. This is a plug. Because <laughs> we're trying to get to a thousand subs by the end of this year. I know that last year our goal was 150. But now we're getting to a thousand. For skipping every other number. So, subscribe and uh, yeah. I'll, I'll see you guys next time.